Hi everyone, welcome to Carport Woodcraft. In today's video, I'm going to be attempting my first ever furniture flip. I have an old bar cart that I bought off Facebook Marketplace a couple of years ago. It's buried deep inside my garage that's full of junk, so wish me luck in finding it and not injuring myself in the process. I need to get all this junk out of here. This is what I wanted. I want to restore this. This piece of junk. We're now heading back to the workshop where I can start the remedial work. The drawer's a little sticky on removing so this will require some adjustments before refitting. The next task is to remove the outdated tiles from both the bar cart top and the bottom shelf. To do this I'm using a hammer and a bolster, I just need to be careful not to damage the plywood underneath the tiles as it's only 4mm thick. After removing the towels, there was some cement left behind that I removed with a 40 grit flat disc attached to my grinder. This was a messy process that in hindsight should have been completed outside as the workshop was covered in a layer of thick dust. I used an old chisel to clean up the corners of any remaining cement. I then moved on to removing an old drawer compartment that was beyond repair. I also removed the casters as these are too lightweight for this unit and as you can hear in the background Jacob's full of cold constantly blowing his nose when I'm recording. This area of the unit is crumbling away, it's the plywood divider that separates the two compartments above however it's not needed on the underside so I'm just removing the damaged areas with the oscillating multi-tool. The bar cart is constructed from butt joints and nails, so I'm having to punch the nails below the surface and tidy up the joints plain in some flush. The bottom of the cart has been damaged, I cut a piece of 18mm plywood to size to repair the area. I just need to remove a small amount of timber with a chisel for a nice tight fit. I then glue and screw the 18mm plywood into position for a strong repair. The unit had an old fashioned moulding on the edges, most of which failed to line up with its corresponding joint, so I removed these by adding a chamfer with my hand plane. I filled any nail heads with wood filler ready for sanding and painting later. I then set about the drawer, firstly removing the handle, which I will be saving for a future project.
Next on the list was removing this and slightly moulding. I did this using a hammer and chisel. It was easy to remove and just popped off with some slight pressure. I sanded everything down to 120 grit, ready for painting, paying particular attention to removing any remaining moulding and flushing up the uneven joints. Jacob took some time to do the detail sanding and I used the grinder with an 80 grit flat disc on to get to the hard to reach areas. I used a block plane to remove yet more moulding and my sanding drum off the oscillating sander to clean up the wine holders. I wanted to add an area for making cocktails so I used an old butcher's chopping block to add to the top of the cart for cutting limes and lemons. I had to cut it down to size and clean it up a bit with a hand plane first. I then added a 45 degree chamfer to match the rest of the cart using my palm router. The next repair was slightly trickier as the top of the cart was not flush or level anywhere. Jacob cut some 9mm MRMDF to size and I shimmed out the top of the car to make it flush. I used a combination of shims, hot glue and wood glue. I added a generous amount of PVA wood glue and hot glue before placing the MRMDF down. Wiping off any glue residue with a damp rag. I then applied some heavy weight, leaving it to dry overnight. Before painting, I cleaned off the car with some white spirits, removing any wax residue and dust. Next, I replaced the old casters with some new ones I had in stock. I used the old tape trick to mark the depth of hole I needed before popping in the inserts and adding the casters. I began painting the car using some furniture paint I had in stock. The colour is called Stormy Grey. When I'm painting a piece of furniture that has lots of detail, I like to use a sash brush, as these are great for getting into the corners and into the detail areas. For the slightly larger panels, I like to use a firm 6 inch roller, and for the hard to reach areas, I like to use an artist brush. The drawer on the cart is not running true and catching on the frame. To fix this, I had a 2mm oak shim which levels the runners. I also had some clear furniture wax which helps everything run smooth. Next I had a shelf under the drawer made from some 9mm MRMDF. This is only to hold glasses for cocktails so it should be more than strong enough. I attached some 50mm strips on the front and on the back of the shelf to match the face frame of the cabinet. The next task was to install the hardware. We attached new black cup handles, a Coca Cola bottle opener, a wine glass holder, and the old trolley handle that received a new coat of paint. For the new cart top I gave this a base coat of black paint, then did my best to give the appearance of marble using a sponge to apply some black and white paint. The 
The top received two coats of acrylic varnish to protect it from spills as this will get the most use. For the rest of the car I added two coats of spray varnish being even in between. Well, that's the finishing touches put on the unit then guys it's totally finished now it's took a long while probably two to three times how long i thought it was going to take i've never done one of these flips before and it's a lot more work than you think depending on obviously the item you get probably took about 18 hours in total we've saved a piece from going in the skip i think and it looks pretty nice if you're a regular viewer of the channel you'd like to support the channel you can do that through paypal patreon and channel membership and i'd just like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who does support the channel and your name will be in the credits in a moment so stick around for the photos guys and i'll see you on next week's video